Hello and welcome back to Guru the Guru. I'm glad to see you again. And we have been doing a Docker command every day of the week for three weeks now. So this is the fourth week. And if you've not seen the others, click about there and you're going to be able to see the playlist. And if you're enjoying what you're doing, kindly like, subscribe and share with your friends. Let's reach more developers. So what are we doing today? We have realized that uh, developers have issues with the docker secrets so that is what you're going to be dealing with this week and essentially what are docker secrets and you have to note docker secrets are only accessible in docker swarms they cannot be used in any other docker architecture apart from docker swarm but what is a docker secret it's something like a password an ssh key a private key or an ssl certificate that should not be passed through the network so it has to be stored in an encrypted form so it cannot be passed through the, the network in unencrypted so it has to be encrypted and passed through the network so how do, does it work in a docker swarm first of all the secrets are passed through the network using a tls connection and a tls connection is just a cryptographic protocol for providing communication securely so you have to note that that is how docker secrets are passed through the network that is using a tls connection that is just a cryptographic protocol for ensuring secure communication in the network and then if this is done through tls and it's encrypted how do containers access the secrets containers access the secrets through an encrypted or decrypted form whereby they store the secrets in slash run slash secrets slash the secret name so that is the path that they store the secret and we're going to show that using a postgres service later in the tutorial so and is it possible for a user to update yeah it's possible to update the secret and even revoke the secret so you have to note that and then what happens when this the container stops or when the container is killed the secret gets detached from the in file or the in memory of the container so it's no longer accessible so what are we going to do now we're going to create a swarm to create a swarm you're going to create a secret using a file method and the cli method so you're going to use those two methods and then after that you're going to create the service and we can finish up with removing the service so this is an ubuntu server that i have and it only has docker installed nothing else so we can start by creating a swarm. So how do you create a swarm? So do Docker swarm, initialize it, then you need to advertise it and give its address and then the IP address of your virtual machine. So 209.14.14 and then 109 that should create for us a swarm so it should give you this message whereby you have uh, to add a worker give you that link there and uh, the token and then to add a manager just to docker swarm uh, join token and then the manager so there there we go and how do you check if the manager has been created so sudo docker you need sudo docker to check the status you need sudo docker info and this will give us a some information you can see the architecture of our machine you can see the cpus you can see the total memory but what i'm interested in is uh, where we have the managers so you can see we have one manager you can see there is a manager active that is true is a swarm active you can see it's active so those are some key points you can note you can see the memory uh, you can see the bug mode so there's quite something that you can check from there so that is how you check the status now let's go into the nitty gritties of the tutorial how to create a secret so we said you can create a secret using a file or using the cli we'll start with the file so let's create a directory dr test and let me cd into the directory and then let me create let me just call it test oh no let me because it's a password let me just call it password txt so that is a file we'll use let me just press insert so that i can be able to put in the password what password do i put let me have ai let me have guru that is the name of the channel at 2020 
and then I can just call guru again lowercase okay. so escape and then write and quit so if you go up and check you can see we have ai guru that is the name of the channel can really subscribe like and share at 2020 and then hashtag guru quit this time now we have the file so what we need now is to create the secret but before we create the secret if you face any issues creating your docker secret you can just do this docker secret then you can have help that will give you the commands that you can do to create the secret so you can see you can create the secret create a secret from a file or from uh, sdn and then you can use the inspect display detailed information of the secrets you can use ls to list the secrets and you can use rm to remove the secrets so i just needed to note that for you guys so now let's go ahead and create our secret so what are we creating because we will have a postgres service we need our test password and we need a test user for the file because we've just created the password we'll use the the test password to create the secret so let's go ahead to the docker and then we have a secret we need to create it and then we need to give the, the secret a name so because it's a password test pass and then where is it coming from dot txt and note we are in the same directory so that's why it's able to do that so now we have the secret we can check whether it's available so we look at ls uh, no secret less there you go so 11 seconds ago we created the test pass which is a secret so we also noted that you can inspect the secret so sudo local secret Then what is the name of our secret it's not that test pass you can see you can see it gives us an id a version created at dated at spec where we have the name but we do not have the values so you can see now it has been encrypted so clear so now we have our secret using a file so the second method to create a secret you can create it using the cli and how do you do that you just echo this time we'll create a user so what is the user? Let me just call the user guru. This is the name of the channel. And then we have a pipe. The pipe we have Docker secret. The same way we did the other one, Docker secret create. Then what name do we give the secret? Test underscore user. And then do not forget the icon at the end. Now we should have two secrets with the Docker secret plus we have to secret a test password and the test user so now this is what we are going to use to create a service and i say we are going to create a postgres service so that we are able to tell whether the secrets go to the part that we noted while covering the theory or or are they not accessible so let's go ahead first of all i would like the service to be created in my own network i do not want it to be created in the default network if you do not know the network it is created in the default one but i would like to create my own network so first of all let's do that to the docker network create i need to detach it and then give it an overlay and then i need the name so you can call this uh, test test net just for test network nothing more and then now let's go ahead and create the service so sudo docker this and create the slash there so we'll go to the next line and then we have a name the one name we give it test sub just for test service and then how many replicas do you need in the replica we need it should be replicas one one and then we have the constraint do we want it as a slave or do we need it as a worker so let's check the spelling const constraint that should be right then we need the, the node the troll should be equals equals manager because i want this to be a manager then i have the network network we just created a network test net then we go ahead and create now our secrets success our secret so secret the first secret is a test user so test underscore user next one is x secret is a test underscore pass the x 
could go uh, either either way but let's go this way so user and then password and then now we need the environmental variables that we use in postgres so postgres underscore user underscore file and then we give the path that we mentioned slash run slash secrets slash what is the name of the secret test user that should be right so uh, postgres user file that should be okay and then run secrets and then test test user so let's go ahead and create the next one which is the password postgres then we need a password underscore file this should also go to slash run slash secrets slash Pass. that is what we call it yeah that should be all right now bit of lag and then finally what do we need we need the image because it has to be created with an image postgres and have the latest one we don't know the latest it will also pick the latest but i would like to do it like that so let's see seems like uh, we made a mistake somewhere yeah so i think guys i found the error so let me let's just build it and then i can show you what the issue was so i think the issue was on the space at uh, slash run so that is why we were facing that so if you check the command now you should not have a space in between for example the password file slash so that was the issue so if you face the same yeah just rewrite the command and it should be all right so let's check the services now sudo docker service ls you can see we have one service uh, the postgres service so and with that i would like to get the containers inside the service so sudo docker yes because it's, uh, it's the only service i have here should only have one container so let's access the postgres container so sudo docker not wrong check it and most of these commands that we're using guys just note they're in our previous three weeks so if you've not seen that just click up there and you'll be able to access that so just get the id and then have the bash and we should be in the container now so first of all let's go to slash run slash secrets and we should be able to find our secrets there so you can see test password and test user and if i cut into test should be able to see our password so let's just try and go into the container into into the db so our user is called guru and then we can force the password force the password it should be right Wrong. Password. It should be right. Then you can just you just paste the password there, and you can see I'm inside. So let's find all the tables. I believe you don't have anything because it's empty. And so, guys, that is it. You, we have gone through the theoretical part. What are secrets? How they are accessible? How containers access them? Slash run slash secrets and we have shown that we created the postgres service we showed how you can get help when you do not know how to correct something and then now let's finish up by deleting our service i just exit from this and then i can clear so how do we remove the service so let me just show that so do docker service less so that is our service how do i remove the service so i need to because i cannot remove the secrets unless i have already removed the service because they're being used so should do docker service rm just like we have in secrets rm then the name just serve 
or the ID. You can use either of them. So that should be removed. So if I go to Docker, Docker service, alas, I do not have any services. So let's now remove our secrets. Do Docker secret. And we had two secret test paths. The uh, test underscore user. Click on that. That should be done. So sudo docker secret and ls should be empty. And that is it for week four, guys. So kindly like, subscribe, and share. Bye bye.